It's the Deep Slant 101 presented by Xfinity. My guest, Roy Lopez, defensive lineman. He's a rookie. Roy, you started your first NFL game, prime time on Thursday night. What was it like running out of that tunnel in front of the fans at NRG Stadium? Right. Um, it was amazing. You know, just kind of took a deep breath. And, uh, you know, it was from the jump, you know, when they sang the national anthem and kind of stand there and you reflect, you know, on, on your journey. It's like, man, this is crazy. It's actually happening, you know, but – um, at the same time, you know, you worked to be in the position you're in, you know, so um, I was very blessed and very, very humbled to, to, to start. Um, but at the same time, you know, the group of guys that I go to practice every day with, they make it easy, you know, and, and you know, they'll, they'll give me tips and everything. And, and, you know, they make sure that I feel comfortable out there with them. And uh, we play off of each other and try to, you know, and, and win that way, you know, so, um, you know, Individual success is group success. You know, group success is individual success. So um, that's a big thing we pre preach between the four of us. So got to keep it going. Yeah, you've had a lot of opportunities. I know it's a, a really talented defensive line group, a, a lot of guys in that room. But, you know, you step up. You've been playing more. You've been – you obviously got your first start. Uh, Levy Smith says he's been really impressed with what you've been able to do so far. But for you, what do you think has been the toughest part about adjusting to playing in the NFL? Right. I mean, the toughest part is just, you know, it's a, it's a job now, you know, so you don't have school, you don't have study hall and all that, to, you know, college, but, um, you know, so, but also the, at the same time, that's the best part. You know, you just, you just have to talk football all day. You know, you watch film, you go to meetings and, and you know, you just get better, you know, and, and that's the biggest thing is uh, right now, you know, like you said, you know, being a rookie, that's all you got to do is just get better week after week and, and you know, numbers will come and, and and everything like that. So, um, you know, when I reflect on my weeks and and, uh, and watch film, I just want to make sure I get better individually and be able to help my team and the D-line as a whole because at the end of the day, you know, that's my job, you know, to, to just help the team win. And, and, yeah. yeah, you don't have to study for like a math test <laughs> or write a paper or no. anything like that. You just go, you just go to your meetings and, yeah. and learn about football. Uh, Levy said that you're obviously you're really, you're good against the run, but he said that he, he was impressed with your pass rush, and he said the thing that impressed him was that you could pass rush. So mm -hmm. he said not a knock against you, but it's not really something that you were asked to do a lot of um, in, in college. So how have you worked on that aspect of your game? I know it's been early so far. Right, but you know a lot a lot of people don't really um, know like my college road and stuff like that, but. Um, you know, I started at New Mexico State, and there I played three technique, and I even played some five technique. You know, that's just DN. You know, and uh, just trying to get one on ones and and, and do pass rush. You know, I always try to tell people I'm good at pass rush. I can pass rush. You know, I'm not just a run stopper. <laughs> so um, I, I I I've always joked with my coaches. You know, at the collegiate level, even here. You know, uh, Bobby King, he we, we still joke about it to this day. And uh, I was like, I can pass rush now. I can, I can do it. You know, and, and if you want to see some on third down, you know, but uh, you know, he just gives me a smile. I was like, yeah. <laughs> okay, you know, but um, you know, there's, there's, like you said, this, this, uh, this D line core is, is, is very talented. You know, all the way down the line from Malik Collins to Whitney Merciless to Charles Amena, who is, is, you know, it's a round of group of guys that I've never seen. You know, being, you know, being in the same room, and uh, it's fun to, to steal things from them and, and do it in practice and look at them and laugh and smile I'm like, yeah. I just did your move. Like it's okay, but <laughs> um, you know I do it, and, and we joke about it, we laugh, and and uh, yeah, I'm I'm part of a great group of uh, D linemen that kind of feeds off of each other. You're taking some of their moves, but I haven't seen anyone attempt your salsa moves because <laughs> uh, you busted out that salsa dance in the preseason. Uh, how good of a dancer are you? Oh man, <laughs> is that uh, is there more? I feel like there's probably more <laughs> than just the the few steps that we see out there on the field. No, I can dance, but I can't dance nothing, nothing too <laughs> much. Oh, my family's gonna laugh when they see that. One. <laughs> it's not like an ex you're not gonna bust out an extended salsa if you ever like ran it back for a touchdown or anything like that. We're not gonna see something like that. Oh no, y'all are gonna see something totally different. I don't really? know yet. I don't oh, know. Okay. I gotta think about Work that. Work on one. it. But uh, a touchdown, that's a different celebration. So. All right, you're really talented because I've heard uh, you also can throw down in the kitchen. You're a pretty good cook. <laughs> uh, have you had a chance to cook for the D lineman yet? I haven't yet, but. Uh, I plan to. Um, I'm not that great, um, but I do like to cook. Um, my family is a big, big, uh, big cooking family. Uh, we throw down. So um, 
I definitely ask them for some some advice of what to cook the D line. But I will. I want to cook. The, I want to cook the D line some dinner. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. Was yeah. if, when you do cook for the D line, and what's the spread going to look like? It's, it's going to be a, a like what's a, the menu going to yeah, look like? Yeah, it's going to be a Mexican a Mexican type you know dish. And okay. It's going to be tacos. It's going to be enchiladas. It's going to be rice and beans and, and some chips and some salsa. You know, so um, you know, be able to have them eat, eat. You know what I eat and what I can't eat. You know, at the same time, so. Um, you know, during season, you got to watch what you eat. So I can't, I can't be eating that stuff too much, but, um, definitely going to have them over, have some, uh, some, some corn tortillas and, and, and cheese and, and give them some grease, you know, for, for, for the appetite. But were you, you went to school in New Mexico. I've been in New Mexico before. They've got like New Mex and then in Texas, they've got Tex-Mex. Yeah. So how yep. do, how do, I mean, you're, a, you seem like a food connoisseur. How do those two compare? Oh the yeah, Mexican food. Yeah, the food is amazing, and in Las in Las Cruces, New Mexico, that's where the rest of the states at. But the food is is it's, it's really good in New Mexico. Yeah, yeah I agree. It's one of the better parts to go to New Mexico State for the food. But uh, but no, nah, Houston, the Tex Mex here is is great. You know, and you know I've only gone like two times because, like I said, I gotta watch what I eat when I'm out here, especially during season. But um, you know, I've gone to a couple places and it. it you know, blew my expectations away from the jump. You really? Know? So, you mm-hmm. know, I, I grew up in Arizona, so I never really had too much tech specs. But once I came out here, I uh, I experienced it Experienced it, and I understood whatever it was talking about. You see about. what the hype is yeah. about. Okay, so one of the things that we know about you, and I know we've talked about it over and over again, is that you're a wrestler, which um, is kind of a big deal because we've got like four or five wrestlers on this team, which I don't think I ever remember having so many, seeing so many guys that have had wrestling backgrounds. But... I had heard that you used to watch professional wrestling mm-hmm. growing up. So, who was your favorite wrestler and why? Yeah, it was The Rock. You know, oh, it okay. Was, uh, yeah. It was. I mean, that's a favorite though. You know, it's sure. a fan favorite. So I always watched him. I watched Rey Mysterio. Um, okay. All, all, all the big names, you know, but. Uh, it was definitely The Rock. I had a little TV that had its own VHS system on it <laughs> at the bottom. And so you seem I had, too young for a VHS system. Oh, you, but, you know, at the time, you know, we didn't have you know enough for a flat screen in my room, you know, so we just had a little box TV. <laughs> it was about this high. And at the, at the bottom, it had a little VHS yeah. spot. And uh, I'd just pop in. It was literally called The Rock. You know, I just popped in a little The Rock video, and, and I'd watch it. I don't know how many times a day, but I had the little action figure, you know, Rock. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, man, my family's going to laugh when they see this. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Well, okay, but, so, so, so you, since you love professional wrestling and you are a wrestler, I feel like um, – you know, is that have you ever thought about what your professional wrestling name might be? <laughs> no, I have. You it. must have. I have. It. I have it. But what would your character be if you did professional wrestling? Oh man, I don't know. It'd be something, something, uh, something big though. Like you know, kind of like how the Big Show and the Undertaker were. You know, I'd like to. I'd like to take over the scene if I ever were to get in that field. But yeah, um, definitely not. You know, I probably. Yeah, I probably want to be like a tag team. I probably just you want to be your own act, right? Maybe like, I don't know. You you do the salsa. You could be like the salsa instructor. Like, well, you gotta have a backstory, you know. Like, you could be like like a part time salsa instructor who's looking for revenge. I don't know what would your my walkout would be like a salsa. Yeah, you like salsa out to the to the ring. Um, you which you gotta have a finishing move, right? Yeah, I'm sure the fans would love it. I'm sure the fans would love it. Yeah. (laughs) I feel like you got to, I mean, you're like, the the rock is a triple threat. You're like a triple threat. You got the cooking, (laughs) you've got, (laughs) you've got the dancing, you've got playing football. Like you got a lot, you got a lot to draw off of. Right. Yeah. Um, my sister and her husband, you know, my brother-in-law are actually very big WWE fans. So I'm sure they've thought about it. I'm sure they've thought about what sort of finishing move I have. Um, so, you know, I can ask them, and I'm sure they'll give me some good ideas. But um, there's a there's a guy. He has long hair, and they always like used to joke about me. Uh, you know, with my hair and him. I forget his name right now, but um, there are yeah. a lot of re- well, like back in the day when it was WWF, there were a lot of wrestlers with right, long hair. Right. I feel like you got the whole look going on. This yeah. is something, <laughs> Roy. I'm gonna be disappointed if you don't come up with a nickname, a backstory, and a finishing move for yourself <laughs> at some point in your career because this, it's you just you fit the bill really well. All right, so um, is this giving you any ideas for potential celebrations? Oh, man, for the touchdown? Yeah, I feel like we've done the salsa, we've talked about cooking, we've talked yeah, about wrestling. Yeah, it, 
the thing is, if I score a touchdown, it'll definitely be a group celebration, right? It's not just going to be an individual because I like, you know, when you unlike see on your TV, wrestling career, right? Which, okay. When you see on TV, you know, and and the whole defense gets in a line and they start doing something, or they'll do like a bowling skit or something. <laughs> Those are the funniest. Those ones. are really funny. You know, so that's definitely something. You know, I would try to do. You know, if a touchdown's in my future, um, I would like to get everybody incorporated that way it's funny you know we can record it i'll keep it you know forever and be able to look at it and laugh and everybody look back on it and laugh and uh hopefully make like the team highlight tape and all this oh that i think for sure it will all right what about for you for the rest of the year what what are some of the things that you want to work on to really get better here in your rookie year right you know it goes back to just being better every week i just want to improve every week whether it's stopping the run rushing the passer um you know holding the bag you know that's all that's all i want to do i want to keep improving that way, you know, when I go to bed at night and, and you know, I can be happy with, you know, and look myself in the mirror and say, you know, I improved. And uh, whether it's watching film and, 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 you know, talking to the vets and, and, you know, sometimes I might ask too many questions because I'm just in their ear. You know, I just want to know. And, uh, you know, I talk to uh, Jacob Martin a lot. I talk to Malik Collins a lot. I talk to Vincent Taylor a lot. You know, and I just try to learn, you know, because they've been in it. You know, the average time in the NFL, I think, is three years. You know, so and all these guys are past three years, so they're doing something right. You know, so it's good to ask questions and, and learn from them and, uh, you know, just kind of pick their brains and just keep growing. So that way, you know, when I'm in their shoes five, six, seven years down the line, hopefully, you know, if God blesses me to play that long, um, you know, I'll be able to tell the rookies, you know, I was in your shoes. You know, I can answer your questions, you know, so. Um, that's what I look forward to. Well, we're looking forward to seeing more of you this season, Roy. Always a pleasure. Thanks for joining us Thank today. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching and go Texans. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell for new content.